Welcome to our first Football's Play to Win show of the year with Bob Whitfield, Chuck Smith, and Nikki Williams. And we're going to start talking about those Georgia Bulldogs, Bob Whitfield. Well, it's a brand new year for Kirby Smart, and we're going to see who he names. He's been leaving us dumbfounded on the starting quarterback. Is it Grayson Lambert or is it the freshman phenom, Jacob Eason? Stay tuned. I think, uh, Chuck, we're, we're pretty sure who the starting running back will be. Yeah, Nick Chubb, Bob, he's the ultimate competitor. He's a guy that I believe first game he's going to run the ball between 15 and 20 times. He's ready. He's going to be toting a rock. And Nikki Williams, let's talk about pro football a little bit. Matt Ryan. It's been eight seasons, Bob, and since 2008, we've all been asking the same question. Is Matt Ryan good enough? He's been in the hot seat since taking that season from 5-0 and to finishing 8-8 eight and eight last year. But here's the deal. His stats have been consistent. So what's it going to take for Matt Ryan to go from good enough to great? We'll get into all that later in our NFL report. All right, and we'll come back in just a moment and talk about the beginning of the Kirby Smart era. Today's show is being brought to you by SD Services, Landmark Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, and the Orlando Law Firm. Welcome to football's Play to Win with Falcons All-Pro defensive end Chuck Smith, Falcons All-Pro offensive tackle Bob Whitfield, Fantasy Football League master Adam Brown, Game analysis with Nikki Williams. Play to win expert Jeffrey the Ed Schechter. Medical and injury update with Dr. Andrew Lalaji. And your host, Atlanta sports legend Bob Neal. Today's SEC College Report is being brought to you by the Southeast Nissan Dealers. Choose Nissan.com. All right, and we are ready for the first big game, early big game, with Georgia and North Carolina. And Bob Whitfield, go right to you. Will the Bulldogs be ready? Well, definitely, Bob. I think the Bulldogs are going to be very ready. They got a good quality offensive line. They're a little uh, limping around at running back, but I think they'll still have a lot of bite to that bark. And look forward to them coming out the gate hot against North Carolina. And we don't know who the quarterback's going to be, but he's going to be successful. As we look at Georgia's first four games, what's a key game out of this list? Well, definitely that first one, Bob. North Carolina Tar Heels, a ranked opponent at the Georgia Dome. That's big time football. Then you got an easy one with Nichols State, Missouri, then finished up with Mississippi in the first four games. I look for Georgia Bulldogs to be 4-0. and oh. All right, the SEC East is going to be tough this year. I know you like Tennessee, as always. But let's <laughs> take a look at the Tennessee, uh, the SEC East and see what you think about it. Well, the first thing, Bob, I want to tell you, Tennessee, they're, they're the favorite in the East right now. And it has a lot to do with seniority. It has a lot to do with leadership. It starts with Derek Barnett on defense and Joshua Dobb on offense. They've done a great job at Tennessee cultivating and, and developing talent. And Butch Jones has done a fantastic job. Tennessee's a complete team this year. They should be the team that comes out the East. Yeah, and how about the East, Bob Woodfield? Is It looks to me like maybe one of the more competitive uh, divisions. Oh, it's definitely competitive, but the SEC is always competitive. Bob. Well, that's true. So it's like you, you're in the best college football environment down in the south here, and every year it's either Alabama, there's, you know, it's so competitive that I just can't wait till it unfolds. All right, Chuck, uh, who do you think, we already talked about Tennessee, right. who else is going to be tough there? Well, I think Tennessee is going to be tough, but I also think that you can't forget about Florida. The Gators, they keep restocking with talent, Bob. I think the Gators are a team you got to watch. Okay, our showdown of the week is brought to you by the Georgia Lottery. Some of the top games of the week we want to get involved in, and those top games are included here on the screen. Chuck, what do you think about the most important game? Well, I think the most important game is going to be Clemson and Auburn because the best player in America plays for the Clemson Tigers, that's Deshaun Watson. Exactly. The best way to describe him, he has the feet of a ballerina. He has the arm of a cannon. And he also has the toughness of a steel worker, Bob. Wow. This guy's a beast. He's the best player in America. I like the way you put that. This will be tough to this will be tough to beat, uh, Bob Whitfield. How about the running backs? I know that you you certainly like McCaffrey. Oh, I definitely like McCaffrey. Coming out of Stanford, he will never get this much love on the East Coast. You know, <laughs> you won't even be able to see his games, Bob. But what you have in Christian McCaffrey is an all-around back. He can catch the ball, run the ball. He can do punt returns, kick returns. And he's Stanford's best player on the squad. He's probably the best player in the Pac-12, maybe the best player in the nation. I think he was number two or number three for the Heisman last year. He may be number one this year. Can he do it down south? He could, can hang. Could he do it in the SEC? He can hang, Chucky. Yeah. He can yeah. hang. Even in the SEC. Uh -huh. He can I hang. Know. We've got a little SEC uh, pac 
12 here going on the set, as you can tell, which of course we all like. Let's talk now about uh, the You Be The Expert. Uh, it's brought to you by Ippolito's, and You Be The Expert is a chance for you to be the expert and win by going to playingtowin.tv. You can win $100 and $50 gift certificates. And when we come back, we will be talking about the NFL report. Nikki Williams joins us right after this. It's Nissan's bottom line summer event. Take on the unexpected with a car that could stop for you. Get to Nissan for big model year-end offers on our award-winning lineup like Ultima, Rogue, and Sentra. All 2016 IIHS top safety picks. Hurry, these offers end soon. Get 0% financing for up to 72 months on 13 models. Plus, get up to 3,000 bonus cash on select models. Congratulations, ma'am. This is all yours. Who are those guys? You won the metal scratcher. That's your metal theme music. I'm here for the meeting. What? The meeting. Win up to $1.15 million. Play the metals family of scratchers. New from the Georgia Lottery. Afoot and lighthearted, I take to the open road. Healthy, free, the world before me, the long brown path before me leading wherever I choose. The east and the west are mine. The north and the south are mine. All seems beautiful to me. Lease the all-new 2017 Volvo S90 for only $4.99 per month at Volvo Cars of Marietta. Why can't I have a slice of yours? You're a cartoon. You can only have cartoon pizza. It's not fair. Look, this pie is 100% real, and you're colored ink. It's physics, man. Well, can you buy me a beer? I can buy you a cartoon beer. Are you single? It's a pie. Everyone wants real mellow mushroom pizza because our pies use premium meats and cheeses, fresh veggies, and spring water dough baked with wheat goodness. Mellow Mushroom, a higher order of pizza. Today's NFL report is being brought to you by Landmark Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. Always the best deal, always. Welcome back to the show. It is year two under Dan Quinn and Bob Woodfield. What do you think the difference between one and two will be? Well, definitely you got to sustain some wins. Uh, Dan started off fast last year, then in the second half of the season he fizzled. But the team is coming out like gangbusters. He is changing the culture of the Falcons. He is trying to build a nice, aggressive defense, and he can get the good play out of Matty Ryan and Julio Jones. I think the offense will be in sync. Look for the Falcons to do something. Yeah, Bob mentions building the defense. What about the D? Well, it's going to start at the linebacker core, Bob. And I think you got to look first and foremost at Vic Beasley going from defensive end now to linebacker. But I'm going to tell you one to watch is Devondre Campbell, kid out of Minnesota. He's tall, he's fast, he's lanky, and he can play. And I think he's going to be a nice bonus for the Falcons as a rookie starting at the strong side linebacker. Okay, Jeffrey Schechter, your thoughts on the Falcons overall? Quinn is an excellent coach. He has the Falcons headed in the right direction. They're looking for a big year from Ryan. Unfortunately, they have a tough schedule. Yeah, what, what do you predict? Wins. Seven wins. Seven wins. They better than that. Better ten, than that? Ten to six. Eight and eight? Ten, ten to six. I think ten, they have a chance seven, for the wild ten? card. They're fans. Okay, you know. I'm going with hey. these guys. I'm going with ten. They're fans. <laughs> Listen, the two players, Jeffrey says, are the fans. All right, speaking of someone who knows what they're talking about, we're going to Nikki Williams now to see if we can get things straightened out, and that is for the trivia question. Nikki, what do you have? That's right, boys. This is the best part of the show because Ayani and I are going to hit you up with a little bit of tailgate trivia. 13 of the 14 current SEC football coaches all played college football. Who's the only one that didn't? You want to give him a hint? I'll give you guys one hint. He actually faked his own funeral for teaching purposes. Seems a little fishy to me. Morbid. All right, we'll, we'll get, have the answer. <laughs> yeah, we'll get the answer in just a second. Uh, how about you guys playing for somebody who wasn't a player if he was a coach? Would you just recognize him being a good coach, or, or could you have the respect? Well, I think that's just part of the culture now. you got computer coaches. you got coaches that are learning on computers, so it doesn't yeah. surprise me that there is a coach that hadn't played. I mean, 
Yeah. That surprised me. Oh, yeah. Some of my best comments were coming from people that played Madden football or video game football, and they're yeah. telling you, hey, this is what you need to do out here. <laughs> no, I don't need to do that out there. So I, I can't. If this show doesn't work out, Jeffrey, you and I will go coach football. I never played. I never coached. There you go. I've got, I want to go to be <laughs> a coach, so give me a call if you need somebody to do that. We'll be back in just a moment, and we'll come back with our trivia answer. Stay with us. Introducing Longhorn's Great American Steak Dinner for $12.99. Perfectly seasoned sirloin with your choice of side, plus an appetizer or a dessert. Only at Longhorn Steakhouse, you can't fake steak. Is your air conditioner blowing hot air? We can fix that. Turn to the experts at Carrier and ST Services. We've been installing and repairing air conditioners in Atlanta for 66 years. Need cold air? We can fix that. It's Nissan's bottom line summer event. Take on the unexpected with a car that could stop for you. Get to Nissan for big model year-end offers on our award-winning lineup like Ultima Rogue and Sentra, all 2016 IIHS top safety picks. Hurry, these offers end soon. Get 0% financing for up to 72 months on 13 models, plus get up to 3,000 bonus cash on select models. If you've been seriously injured on the road or at work, the last thing you need is to be bombarded by lawyers using actors and gimmicks to attract your attention. You need a real lawyer with the experience, support staff, and resources to fight for you and to maximize your recovery. I'm Roger Orlando of the Orlando Law Firm, and I want to change the way you think about attorneys. Speak to me personally about how I can be your lawyer in your time of need. Call me at 678-LAW-FIRM. Is your air conditioner blowing hot air? We can fix that. Turn to the experts at Carrier and SD Services. We've been installing and repairing air conditioners in Atlanta for 66 years. Need cold air? We can fix that. Save energy and money with a dual fuel system from SD Services. Today's hometown team report is brought to you by Mellow Mushroom Pizza Bakers, a higher order of pizza for your tailgating events. All right, we left you trying to figure out Nikki's trivia answer. Let's go back to Nikki for the question and the answer. See if you got it, Nikki. Thanks, Bob. That's right, guys. The only SEC football coach that did not play college football is, drum roll, Ole Miss head coach Hugh Freeze. And you were right, Ayani. He did recently fake his own funeral. He says it was for motivational purposes. I guess that's one way to get it done. Hey, guys, don't die so you can win. That's all for your trivia question today. We'll see you next time. <laughs> don't die so you can win. Okay, I'll try to remember that. There's something in there that should be lasting. Uh, it's time for our hometown team report. I want to go to my buddy Chuck here to talk about the Georgia weaknesses, and you think they may be at the wideout? Well, I think Georgia has weaknesses at the wideout, no question, Bob, because remember last year that was a challenge, and, and I'm going to tell you this, Jim Chaney, who's their offensive coordinator, He's going to throw the ball downfield. They got to have someone step up to be the top receiver, and I think Isaiah Kent McKenzie can be that guy. Okay, now my question uh, for you, Bob Whitfield, is who should start at quarterback? The young kid? Ooh, why you give me the tough question, <laughs> yeah, Bob? Tough come one. on. Everybody come on. wants to know. Look, I want to start the running back at quarterback, and we just run the ball every <laughs> down, but I say this. That'd be you. You know, it's, it's the quarterback conundrum here. When you got a, a freshman quarterback, you can start him, because if he loses, hey, he's a freshman. So I think Georgia will start the rookie, uh, the freshman, Easton, and then we'll have a whole little hashtag thing going. Kirby season is in. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I like that. You mentioned the running backs. How solid do you feel they'll be there? Oh, you know, Chubb is a beast. You know, you yeah. got Chubb as a beast, but then you get a healthy Sony Michelle and Holyfield coming back. Running backs are great at Georgia. May, may be as good as in the league, or at least going into the season. Oh, they will. They yeah. might be as good as what the Falcons have. So, yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. How about That's that? going some there. <laughs> All right. Now we want to know who should start. We were talking about at quarterback uh, for uh, the uh, 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 Georgia started quarterback. So we're going to go to 680 the fan and Nick Cellini, who's going to answer the question for us. Nick. Well, Bob, we meet again. The season is one week away. A lot of big games to talk about, but the biggest question in the state of Georgia is what to do at the quarterback position as far as the Georgia Bulldogs are concerned. To me, the solution to that problem is simple. You start Jacob Eason. And I know it sounds on the surface absurd. A true freshman 
in the SEC, let alone an opener in the Georgia Dome against an ACC top opponent in North Carolina. Gene Chizik has a couple of national titles under his belt. He's a master defensive coordinator. Well, think about it this way. You've got experience around you. Let's assume Nick Chubb is going to be healthy enough to play. Let's assume the offensive line issues are settled. Why not go with the guy that has more of the upside in Jacob Eason? And I know, again, he's never seen anything like this before. But think about it. Grayson Lambert is a guy that was 10-2 and two as a starter. The upside, we've seen it. We know what the upside is with Jacob Eason. Go for it now. Go for the win now. Start the kid now, Bob. Okay, Nick, you convinced me. The kid is starting. You, could, you heard it here first, as a matter of fact. This week's Keys to Success is brought to you by Volvo Cars of Marietta, where you can always expect the best. Now, let's talk about Georgia Tech a little bit. What say you, Chuck Smith? Well, I think it starts out with the B-backs, Bob, and I think Marcus Marshall's a perfect back to start off this year, because remember this, when Georgia Tech had success, that B-back was getting yards. He was doing a great job, so I think Marcus Marshall this year is going to step up, and he's the one that's going to be featured this year at Georgia Tech. All right, Jeffrey, they're playing over in Ireland, uh, Tech and BC to open the season. What do you think about Tech overall and about that game? Believe it or not, that's a big game. They're coming off a very bad year, and you lose to Boston College, that hot seat for Coach Johnson will be coming out. So to pick the game, yeah. Tech's a three-and-a-half point favorite. I like What's the college? Ah. There's going to be smoke coming out of that plane over the Atlantic. Oh, yeah, be a long flight back if Tech loses the ball game. We're going to come back in just a moment and talk about fantasy football. So you stay with us as we continue with football's play to win. The Wizard, can you make me real so I can eat real mellow mushroom pizza instead of cartoon pizza? Stand back. Here we go. Alakazam! Wiggity stickity poof! I'm still a cartoon. Then that'd be a no. Everyone wants real mellow mushroom pizza because our pies use premium meats and cheeses, fresh veggies, and spring water dough baked with wheat goodness. Wickety stickety poof. Mellow mushroom, a higher order of pizza. Afoot and lighthearted, I take to the open road. Healthy, free, the world before me, the long brown path before me leading wherever I choose. The east and the west are mine. The north and the south are mine. All seems beautiful to me. Lease the all-new 2017 Volvo S90 for only $4.99 per month at Volvo Cars of Marietta. So I'm never gonna let you go. Your home, your auto. Together, they're where life happens. That's why State Farm protects them together, to help life go right. Combine and save. Talk to a State Farm agent today. Today's fantasy report is being brought to you by SD Services, serving all of Atlanta since 1949. All right, time for our fantasy report. Back again, Adam Brown. Welcome. Good to see you again. Thanks. All right, now since it's our first show, let's get started. And you've got some ideas on some potential breakout players. Guys that are going to have breakout seasons this year that you could probably get in the middle rounds of the draft. Guys, Tyler Lockett in Seattle is a must-get. 51 receptions as a rookie, six touchdowns. Lamar Miller in Houston, yeah, he's going to be a top-round draft pick, but... He was misused big time in Miami last year, and I think he's going to be one of the top three rushers in the league this year. Dante Moncrief, 10 times last year, was targeted seven times or more in a game, and with a healthy Andrew Luck, you know that can lead to big things. And finally, Kevin White, who lost the whole season last year with a shin injury, playing alongside Alshon Jeffrey, who yeah. can't stay healthy. So if he can be the guy in Chicago, he could be a pro bowler in his first real year playing. All right, let's look over to the quarterbacks. Yeah. So the quarterbacks, okay, we got Blake Bortles on top here. And the reason I like Blake Bortles a lot is he threw for 4,400 yards and 35 touchdowns last year. 
He has Hearns and Robinson to throw the ball to. He has Mercedes Lewis and Julius Thomas to throw the ball to. He's loaded at running back with Ivory and Yeldon. I like Blake Bortles. The offensive line's better, and the defense is much improved, which is going to help him a lot. And finally, I want to talk about the bottom guy on the list, Robert Griffin III. Yeah. He hasn't played really in two years. And he was an outcast out in Washington. But he's in Cleveland. He has a ton of weapons around him with Pryor. When Gordon comes back from suspension, Coleman the rookie, and he has Barnage. Yeah. I like him a lot. He can move in the pocket. And I really think that he's going to be a solid, solid fantasy player this year. If you could pick him up as a bi week replacement, I really would. All right. Good job, as usual. In just a moment, we're going to go back and talk about medical report along with injuries of some players early here in the year. Good luck, everyone. Today's show is being brought to you by Longhorn Steakhouse and the Georgia Lottery. Is your air conditioner blowing hot air? We can fix that. Turn to the experts at Carrier and SD Services. We've been installing and repairing air conditioners in Atlanta for 66 years. Need cold air? We can fix that. Save energy and money with a dual fuel system from SD Services. This is the once a year opportunity to save big on a new Toyota. It's the annual clearance event now at Stone Mountain Toyota. Check out the incredible offers at StoneMountainToyota.com. Then come see us today. We have the price. We have the payments for you. We have 0% interest. We have the cars. Hurry, call now and ask about our limited time savings on Camry, Corolla, and RAV4. Stone Mountain Toyota, a great price, a great buying experience. Come in and have a cup of coffee with me today. Congratulations, ma'am. This is all yours. Oh, who are those guys? You won the Metal Scratcher. That's your metal theme music. I'm here for the meeting. What? The meeting. Went up to $1.15 million. Play the Metal's family of Scratchers. New from the Georgia Lottery. Introducing Longhorn's Great American Steak Dinner for $12.99. Perfectly seasoned sirloin with your choice of side, plus an appetizer or a dessert. Only at Longhorn Steakhouse, you can't fake steak. Is your air conditioner blowing hot air? We can fix that. Turn to the experts at Carrier and ST Services. We've been installing and repairing air conditioners in Atlanta for 66 years. Need cold air? We can fix that. Today's player injury and medical report is being brought to you by the Orlando Law Firm. Put a former insurance lawyer in your corner. And back with Dr. Anand Lalaji, we'll be talking about player medical injury and medical reports. Yep. And getting started again, I like to, of course, call you Dr. A. Prefer. And we have something <laughs> a little different this year. Yep. This year we're going to be talking about injury risk, and we're also going to be answering that old question of, is the player 100% or is he not? So let's start with Jameis Winston. Um, he's actually at a low injury risk and at peak health, and the main reason for that is he's had only a minor ankle sprain last year, and he's pretty much a rookie. Now, in comparison, Ben Roethlisberger, you can see he's at a moderate injury risk and below average from 100% at 65%, and that's because of concussion, because of an MCL sprain right. and a separated shoulder. Now, the other side of that equation are the wide receivers. Absolutely. So let's talk about wide receivers. Let's talk about Odell Beckham Jr. You can see that he's in the green as well at peak health and at low injury risk. His last significant injury was a hamstring injury in 2014. Now, compare that with Sammy Watkins. He's at 51% below average and a moderate injury risk. Wide receivers, multiple previous foot injuries, kill their performance on the field. It's a great job on this. This is valuable information for you, by the way. Absolutely. Dr. Ray will have it every week. And speaking of valuable, Jeffrey comes along next. Stay with us on Play to Win. If you've been injured at work, the insurance company is not your friend. As nice as your employer may be, their insurance company doesn't represent you. Call a professional attorney to protect the rights of you and your family if you've experienced an on-the-job injury. Why me? Because I've been a lawyer for nearly 30 years, the first decade as a lawyer for the insurance companies. I know how they think and act. For experienced and professional representation, call me at 678-LAW-FIRM. It's Nissan's bottom line summer event. Take on the unexpected with a car that could stop for you. 
Get to Nissan for big model year-end offers on our award-winning lineup like Ultima, Rogue, and Sentra. All 2016 IIHS top safety picks. Hurry, these offers end soon. Get 0% financing for up to 72 months on 13 models. Plus, get up to 3,000 bonus cash on select models. Introducing Longhorn's Great American Steak Dinner for $12.99. Perfectly seasoned sirloin with your choice of side, plus an appetizer or a dessert. Only at Longhorn Steakhouse, you can't fake steak. Afoot and lighthearted, I take to the open road. Healthy, free, the world before me, the long brown path before me leading wherever I choose. The east and the west are mine. The north and the south are mine. All seems beautiful to me. Lease the all-new 2017 Volvo S90 for only $4.99 per month at Volvo Cars of Marietta. Today's lightning round is brought to you by Longhorn Steakhouse, now featuring great American steak dinner. Longhorn Steakhouse, you can't fake steak. All right, it's time for the lightning round with Jeffrey, and this is going to be called the way too early Heisman pick. But Jeffrey, I know you've got thoughts on it. Deshaun Watson is a beast, and I'm going with Chad Kelly. I think he's a winner. He's a great quarterback, and I, I'm picking Chad Kelly. Who is Chad Kelly? All right, right, you're picking Chad Kelly. Who is Chad Kelly? Mississippi's quarterback. Okay, so he's wrong on that one. He's wrong on that yeah, one? Yeah, he's wrong on that I'm one. going with him. He's been pretty right on most of these things, by the way. And another one for Jeffrey. See if you agree with this one. How about the championship game? Well, it's now or never for Tennessee. I think Tennessee's going to go for the East. Mississippi was a lucky fourth down lateral by Arkansas away from winning the West last year. They're going to win the West this year. Tennessee and Mississippi. Ole Miss, huh? What do you think? You agree with well, that? You got another suggestion? He picked the quarterback. He might as well go with the might team. Might as well go right. with yeah. it. All right. How about Georgia? Where do you see Georgia this year? Eight and four. Eight and four. Well, so so contender, depending on injuries, yeah. and how things go, yeah. and the you, schedule. You got to remember this. As good as the SEC is, the SEC East has four teams that are anywhere from terrible to mediocre. Okay. So you got four wins right there. Okay. So. And Nikki, how about this? Who who do you think, as you look at the SEC, are your top teams? I'm Alabama, Tennessee. Yeah. Yeah, <coughs> Alabama. I mean, we we try to discount them every year, right. and every year they make us look like fools. Yeah, that's the truth. It ain't me because I remember the thing they say about Alabama, and it's a cliche because they've been saying it for 50 years now. They don't rebuild. They reload. Yeah, they're so, nasty. It's a fact. You know, don't know about them. You're going to get it. I'm ready right, for them to go away. But... With you? <laughs> look, I, I'm going to jump on Nikki's bandwagon now. Only because Nikki picked them, I'm picking Alabama. That's the only <laughs> no one I'm wanted going. to say it. It was the elephant in the room. I mean, we're. Thanks for letting me off the hook with that <laughs> one, Nikki. <laughs> and by the way, how have we improved the set here? We got Chuck Smith off the set and brought Nikki in. That improves He's down right here. up there the visual appearance of Play to Win. <laughs> and we'll be back, including Chuck and Nikki, next week on Football's Play to Win. Today's show has been brought to you by Volvo Cars of Marietta, Mellow Mushroom Pizza Bakers and the Southeast Nissan dealers.